In this screencast, we're going to have a look at a couple of ways that we can add images to our collaborative spaces. So what I've got here is a blank page of my new space, which is about zoos and conservation. And I'm going to add, in this case, the application publication display. Now the process that I'll go through will be the same process for uploading images if you were using a blog or a wiki, same, same idea as the publication display. So I've brought up the Applications menu and I'm just going to start to type the words Publication Display and I'm going to click and drag that into the space where I would like that to be displayed on the page. In fact, I might put it in the big space at the top. And what this says now is that I need to select an existing publication, so one that I've already created, or add a new one to be displayed in this portlet. So I'm going down to the bottom left and on that little plus button, I'm going to add a new publication in which I will put my images. So I'm going to write here images of elephants. Oops, be good if I spelt it right. In here. Now it doesn't matter what you write in the name here. It won't be displayed on the page, but it is important that it is descriptive of what's in this publication because if you are actually selecting a publication to display that you'd already created, the name of the publication makes it easy to locate. So naming that is important. I'm also going to go over to the right hand side here and request to look at the basic layout because at the moment this is the advanced layout and it gives us the working screen um, here and it also gives us some advanced tools here if we wanted to um, get into the versioning of our publication displays, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to click on Basic, and what that does is give me a greater workspace over here. So this is the standard Ultranet toolbar here for our applications like publications and wikis and blogs, and this button here with the word content and the little landscape button there will allow us to upload an image that we have got on our computer. So if I click on that button, it will bring up the content portal because an upload in Ultranet is a, is a two-part process. We first upload the content into the content portal and then we select it for display in the, in the spaces that we have. So now I've got my content window up. I'll click on the button that says Upload Image and then I go to the Add Files button. Now I can upload multiple files at the one time here. In this case I'm just going to upload one and this is the one that I would like to upload Bong Su at Melbourne Zoo. So I'll click on on that and I need to put in a tag here. So I'm just going to um, write in the word elephant because I think that describes that picture quite well and then I'll click on the upload button. Now we get the um, compliance screen where we need to tick the appropriate buttons. So looking at um, the aspect of privacy, I can tick the My Material Contains No Personal Information About Others because it doesn't have any images of people in that. Um, I don't need to click the permission because again there's no people in it that I would need to get permission from and it has not been sourced from publicly available publications because it's a photograph that I took myself at the zoo so I only need to click that top one. The copyright one, yes, it's, it's once again it's my own personal photograph so I have the ability to upload that and in here in this case it's a personal image so I'm just going to write um, personal photo in there. So I'll just click on the continue button and that upload will begin to take place. So what I'm doing here is uploading it into my content and that will be retrievable from any to put in any space that I would like. So I'm just waiting for an OK button over here in the top right to let me know that that um, photograph has been uploaded and is now available for me to use. That's just coming now. If I was uploading multiple photographs, I would open up the Apply Common Details and that would allow me to add the same tag for every photograph I was uploading. 
So here's my OK button, so I'll click on OK, and there is my photograph of Bongsu, and I would like to select that to be placed in this publication display. So that's how you upload a photograph from your own computer. And one of the good ideas is to resize your file size of the photographs before you upload them so that they're not too large, and that makes it a quicker upload as well. So an alternative method would be to link to a photograph that's already on the internet. So not one of your own from your computer, but a photograph that you've seen online somewhere. And if I go up to this tab here, here is the um, the zoo, the Melbourne Zoo website. And if I wanted that image to be displayed on the page, I could right click on that image and I get a drop down menu. Now in this case, I'm using Firefox. So this is the... Um, drop down list that I get for that browser and I need to go to copy image location. If you were using um, Internet Explorer you would need to go into the properties menu to get the URL for this image and if you were using Safari you would go to um, the copy link wording. So I'll just copy image location and that's putting the URL for this photograph into the memory and now when I click back onto my Ultranet page I now go to this button over here Oops, no I don't. I go to this button over here, which is the insert um, and, or edit image and click on that one. And it brings up a little box that allows me to paste the URL for that image. Click OK. And then we find that that image appears on the page as well. And if we click on that within Firefox, we get the handles, which allow us to size the image. Now you may have noticed that we didn't have to do any compliance with that image because we're merely linking to the image on a website. We're not actually uploading it and, and taking the content from that website. So that's the process of uploading images. Once we scroll down to save this, we notice that there are three save buttons. And when we first make a publication, we're presented with all three save buttons and this is what they, they mean. This one is just save and close. This button here is save and continue to work. And this one is really save and publish. So we're saving the application and approving it for publication. Now, the first time we make a, a publication display, it's really important to click on that save and approve button. So we'll click on that one. And that option will not appear the second time that we go in to edit that publication display. So there we go. In our publication display, we've put up a couple of images. If we wanted to go in and make some changes, we now have three buttons in the bottom left and this button here is the edit publication and when we click on that it will take us back to the screen that we were in before and because this publication has been approved for publishing we have now find that there are only two save buttons down the bottom the one where we can save and continue working or the one that allows us to save and close so they are the two options available to us so that's how we can upload images and display them on our pages.